Good morning. Myself, Dr. Y. Anandalakshmi, Assistant Professor of Physics from the Department of Science and Humanities, MLR Institute of Technology. Today, let us discuss about the Applied Physics Credit Based Paper for Engineering First Year Student. Let us go with what is Applied Physics. Applied Physics is a branch of physics that focuses on the practical applications of physical principles to real world problems and technologies. It involves using fundamental concepts of physics to develop solutions in various fields such as engineering, technology, medicine and industry. What is the importance of this applied physics at engineering level? Applied physics principles are essential for designing and optimizing various engineering systems and technologies including electronics, mechanics, materials, optics and thermodynamics. Overall, applied physics bridges the gap between the theoretical physics and the practical applications driving technological innovation and addressing societal challenges across various domains. The highlights of this applied physics paper are unit 1 carries quantum physics, unit 2 electronic properties of materials and band theory of solids whereas unit 3 is semiconductors and semiconductor devices, unit 4 consisting of lasers and fiber optics and finally unit 5 physics of quantum computing and quantum gates. Let us discuss what is quantum physics. Quantum physics is also a branch of physics that deals with the behavior of matter and energy at the smallest scales such as atoms and subatomic particles. It provides a fundamental framework for understanding phenomena that classical physics cannot explain particularly in the realm of atomic and subatomic particles. Atomic and subatomic particles could not be able to explain by classical physics. It can only explain from the quantum physics. What are the applications of quantum physics? This quantum physics having numerous applications across various fields ranging from technology and computing to communication and medicine. Some of its key applications are quantum computing, quantum cryptography, quantum sensing and metrology, quantum communication, quantum materials and devices quantum simulation, quantum metrology and imaging. These are just a few examples of how quantum physics is driving innovation across various fields with the potential to revolutionize the technology and transform industries in the coming years. What are the contents of unit 1 that is quantum physics are black body radiation, photoelectric effect, waves and particles duality, de Broglie hypothesis, matter waves, Davison and Germer's experiment, Heisenberg uncertainty principle, Schrodinger's time independent equation, particle in one dimensional potential box are the topics of unit 1 quantum physics. Today let us discuss about the black body radiation. Black body radiation, what is a black body radiation? A perfect black body is one which absorbs all the radiations of different wavelength incident on it. At room temperature such an object would appear like a perfect black and hence it is called as a black body. I repeat once again a perfect black body is one which absorbs totally all the radiations of any wavelength which fall on it. At room temperature such an object appears like a perfect black and is called as a black body. When such a body is heated at a suitable high temperatures, what will happen? It emits the radiation. Whatever the radiation it has absorbed, it will emit when such a body is heated at high temperatures. Hence, a perfect absorber and is also a perfect emitter. So, we can call a perfect black body is called an absorber and as well as an emitter. The radiations emitted by black body at high temperatures are known as black body radiations. It will absorb at room temperature and it will emit all the radiations at high temperature upon heating. Such particular body is termed as black body and the radiations emitter are called black body radiations. What is approximation of black body? For that let us consider a Ferris black body. It is possible to construct a nearly perfect black body. No perfect black body exists in reality. 
So, the near perfect black body let us construct for which we consider a double walled copper sphere which is coated with a lamp black. The inner part is coated with the lamp black and it has a very narrow opening. This is the narrow opening we have and a projection in front of this is called a projection ok in front of the narrow opening. The radiation centering through this narrow opening the radiation centering through the narrow opening falls on the projection after which it undergoes a multiple reflections it undergoes a multiple reflections after the multiple reflections what happens the uh, radiations are completely absorbed after under undergoing multiple reflections radiations are completely absorbed so that it acts as a black body it acts as a black body when this body is heated when such body is heated at high temperatures radiations come out of the hole at high temperatures the radiations come out of the hole and the hole act as a black body radiator this particular hole act as a black body absorber black body absorber and at high temperatures this particular pinhole act as a good radiator. Black body radiation and its temperature dependence how this particular black body depends upon the temperature when a black body is placed inside a uniform temperature it will amount it will emit full radiation it will when it is placed in a uniform high temperatures uniform high temperatures this particular black body emits the entire radiation after equilibrium which is enclosed in an equilibrium position the radiations are independent of nature of substance nature of walls and presence of any other body the radiations are independent of nature of the substance and the walls of the black body and the presence of any other body near the black body. This particular radiation purely depends upon the high temperatures means when a body is heated at a high temperatures the radiations will be emitted. These emitted radiations purely depends upon the high temperatures. Next distribution of black body radiation spectrum. According to the Planck the intensity of light emitted by a black body as is a function of wavelength according to the Planck the intensity of light emitted by a black body is a function of wavelength and he could able to describe how this spectrum would change as the temperature is changed Planck according to him what is the, the emitted radiation is a function of wavelength is one type the other one is this spectrum can be changed with respect to the temperature as the temperature of the black body increases as the temperature of the black body increases the total amount of light emitted per second also increases as the temperature of the black body increases the amount of light emitted per second also increases and the wavelength of the spectrum peak reaches to the maximum intensity wavelength reaches to the maximum intensity and shifts to blue color here we have shown in the form of a blue color right as the temperature increases the amount of radiation emitted per second also increases according to Planck next according to Stephen he described a rule in the year 1879 and provided a formal derivation in the year 1884 between the parameters the energy and as well as the temperature let us see his law it states that the rate of emission of radiant energy given out per unit area of a perfect black body is directly proportional to the fourth power of its absolute temperature according to Stephen Boltzmann E is 
proportional to t to the power of 4 where e is the radiant energy and t is the absolute temperature. What is the relation? The, ra the emitted radiation or the radiant energy is proportional to the fourth power of the temperature. This equation has become E is equal to sigma t to the power of 4, where sigma is the Boltzmann constant, where sigma is the Boltzmann constant. If your black body at absolute temperature T is surrounded by another black body, if one black body is surrounded by the another black body at a absolute temperature T and T naught, one black body is having a temperature of T, the other is having the temperature of T naught, then the net rate of loss of heat energy, the loss of heat energy per unit area of the surface is given by E is equal to sigma t to the power of 4 minus t naught to the power of 4, where t to the power of 4 minus t naught to the power of 4 is the net rate of loss of heat energy per unit area, where t is the temperature of one black body which is surrounded by t naught. Next, Planck's radiation law. In order to derive the theoretical expression for the energy distribution in the spectrum of black body, Planck proposed the following hypothesis in the year 1901. According to him, the black body contains a number of simple harmonic oscillators which can vibrate with all possible frequencies and an oscillator can have the discrete energies which is given by E n is equal to n h nu. For a first one, when n is equal to 1, then E is equal to h nu. Similarly, n is equal to 2, 3, so on, E is equal to 2 h nu, comma 3 h nu, comma 4 h nu, so on. So, the emitted energy is in the form of multiple, that is E n is equal to n h nu, where nu is the frequency of the oscillator and h is the Planck's constant and n is the quantum number. The value of h is equal to 6.624 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joules second is the value of Planck's constant h. The frequency, the frequency of radiation emitted by an oscillator is not continuous, it is discrete. It is discrete, but it is only in the multiples of small unit of energy. This particular small unit of energy is called as quanta or photon or quanta of energy. As the energy of photon is h nu, the energy emitted is equal to h nu, 2 h nu, 3 h nu, so on. It means that for a given h nu amount of energy, the energy emitted is in the form of a multiples, multiples of small unit of energy called as photon or quanta. The oscillator can emit or absorb radiation. The nature of black body is it can absorb the radiation and it can emit the radiation at high temperatures in the form of h nu. It absorbs the radiation in the form of photon which is nothing but h nu. It emits the radiation that is also in the form of a photon which is nothing but the h nu and the multiples of h nu or multiples of photon energy. Based on this assumption, Planck's deduced a formula E lambda d lambda is equal to 8 pi h c where pi is the Planck's constant and c is the velocity of light. d lambda indicates the change in the wavelength is divided by lambda to the power of 4 into e to the power of h nu by lambda k b t k b into t minus 1 is the formula derived by the Planck's 
from his assumption that the black body acts as a perfect radiator and as well as emitter by considering that the ra emitted radiation the frequency of radiation emitted by an oscillator is not continuous is one of the assumption the other assumption is the black body consisting of a simple harmonic oscillator based on these two assumption planck derived a law e lambda d lambda in terms of energy in terms of a wavelength lambda to the power of 4 the above equation agrees well for all experimental results for short as well as long wavelength range according to the stephen Stephen has given a relation between the energy E proportional to the fourth power of temperature whereas Planck's has given a relation between the energy E proportional to the 1 to the power of lambda means Stephen has given relation between the energy and temperature whereas Planck's has given the relation between the energy and as well as the wavelength. Summary what we have discussed today we have come across the importance of applied physics paper at engineering level and the first unit of applied physics is quantum physics. We have studied different applications of quantum physics. Next we have discussed about a black body radiation. We understood what is a black body and we have derived, we have studied the approximation of black body. By considering a nearly perfect black body. Next we have come across Stephens and Planck's law. which gave the relation between the emitted energy of the black body with respect to the temperature and as well as wavelength. Completely we have discussed about the topic black body radiation. In our next session let us discuss about matter waves, properties of matter waves. and photoelectric effect. Thank you.